We won't tell you what San Diego means to Ron Burgundy, but here at Trust the Profits, it means another full field rundown. Today's video is brought to you by Assiniboy Downs Gaming and Event Center. Be sure to tune into this channel live Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern for Monday Night Lights, hosted by Trust the Profits. All right. It's a formula here from Trust the Profits, and we're going to be talking about the 2023 San Diego Handicap. It's going to be coming up in about a week at Del Mar. But first, YouTube memberships. We um, we changed around our memberships a little bit. We talked to you about this before. Uh, we've got three levels of memberships now. We've still got the, the Saturday Club, where we send you guys a Saturday slate. Here's an example of the Saratoga slate that we sent out. This is race 11 from Saturday, where we picked the... Um, a 15 to 1 morning line, I believe it was 10 to 1 winner, St. Selby. So, just giving you guys a little bit of taste of the action there on what this looks like and where we had him picked. El Hombre also has his Gulf Stream level. So, we got three levels here we got the Saturday, we got the Gulf Stream, and we got Saratoga. Saratoga also gets you the Gulf Stream. So, hit that join button to check out those levels of membership. It's a great way to support this, uh, our, our little YouTube channel here um, as we are. As we get going, right? All right. Speaking of getting going, let's let's talk about the San Diego handicap. Let's get that going. Right now, we only got six horses here, as listed by Horse Racing Nation. Three of them are Baffert horses. Um, I would love to talk through all six of these here um, as we go through this slate here. It, it's a little bit early. Don't know. These are not the final horses. This is just probables and possibles for the event. It is at Del Mar as a G2. It is eight and a half furlongs on dirt. That is one and a 16th mile happening this Saturday, July 29th. How about that early look? Let's start with Country Grammar. Five wins in 17 races. Last out, a fourth place finish at the Hollywood Gold Cup, finishing four plus lengths behind Defunded. In between the two horses, Paroli and Kiss, to, uh, kiss Today Goodbye. Ooh, spit that one out. Um, yeah, not a great last look for Country Grammar. Um, getting beaten by Defunded, no issue there. I think Defunded is a phenomenal horse, as you're going to find out where I put him in this uh, this race shortly. But Paroli and Kiss Today Goodbye, it's surprising Country Grammar got beaten by those two horses. Came in seventh at Dubai World Cup, second at the Saudi Cup. Uh, came in second to Defunded at the Awesome Again Stakes. Defunded wired the race, beating him by two lengths. Uh, Country Grammar, at one point last year, this this looked like a really strong Baffert horse, but has since looked a little less spectacular, one might say. So where's Country Grammar going to place in this top six? Let's move on to Royal Ship. Eight wins in 23 races lifetime last. Came in fifth place. Three lengths in the All-American Stakes at Golden Gate. Whoo! Yeah. Yeah. Royal Ship. Looking much better a, a while back. Came in second at the Californian Stakes. Losing to Defunded by three lengths. Struggled out of the gates at the Kilroe Mile. It was a turf race. Never recovered. Finished dead last in that race. Early on, last year, he was trading punches with Country Grammar, beating him at this race, San Diego Handicap, by two and a quarter lengths, um, but previously losing to Country Grammar at the Hollywood Gold Cup. But, you know, those last four races lacking consistency, seven-year-old, facing some pretty tough competition over these last few races and not exactly looking the better for it. So Royal Ship, Richard Mandela, um, even a six horses, tough call, tough call. Defunded. Yeah, seven wins in 17 races for Defunded. Really starting to come into his own, in, in my opinion. Last time out, wire to wire winner at the Hollywood Gold Cup, beating Paroli by one length in that one. Um, before that, the Californian came in sixth place, or sorry, was in sixth place at the three quarter mile mark, more than three lengths behind. Came back to win, overcoming by three lengths over the other horses in that race. Came in third at the Santa Anita Handicap, losing by three quarters of length to Stiletto Boy and Proxy. So even though he came in third place there, was very close to the action. Ran in second at the Pegasus, losing to Art Collector by that one. Everyone lost to Art Collector in that one. Four plus lengths. Four wins in the last six races for this uh, Baffert horse. Not, not what I would call the most decorated Baffert horse. Of, of the last couple years, but definitely one that has uh, turned on the wins as of late. Taiba, 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 
however you want to pronounce it. Uh, this is a horse that has won half of his eight races. This is a horse that last time out at the Saudi Cup after a five-month layoff came in eighth place. A bit disappointing for Taba there. Impressive winner at the Malibu Stakes before that, though, beating Forbidden Kingdom by four-plus lengths, although there weren't a whole lot of other strong, high-level competitors in that race. Go back to the Breeders' Cup Classic. We're talking about a classic horse here. Came in third place, eight lengths back of flight line. But, you know, eight lengths back of flight line is eight lengths better than most horses, I would say. He won the Penn Derby over Zandon and Cyberknife. Uh, and, yeah, I would say that's still probably his best race to date. His most impressive race, in my opinion, in terms of the competition that he beat. Many saw him as a Kentucky Derby favorite um, a couple years back, right? This was a horse that was expected to be in the running, let's just say, and got derailed. Um, yeah, 12th place finish in the Kentucky Derby. Not exactly impressive for Taba, but let's just say this is still an impressive Baffert level horse here. Um, and a lot of people probably going to have him as the favorite to win this very race. Who else we got here? We got a couple more here to go through here. John Sheriff's horse, Express Train. Seven wins in 20, has yet to race in 2023. So we're talking end of July here. Long layoff for Express Train if he does get entered. Last time out, he ran in the awesome again, running fourth behind Defunded, Country Grammar, Slowdown Andy. Um, spoiler alert, those three horses are in this race. So last time out, he was defeated by half of the field. <laughs> Recently, um, finished semi-recent, finished fourth in the Pacific Classic behind Royal Ship and behind Country Grammar and years off of Flight Line. Um, so Express Train, as you can already see from previous races, has yet to, hasn't recently lived up to the competition of the horses that are being probable and possible in this race. Express Train, dangerous for me to say, but I'm going to say an insta toss here. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me I'm garbage. Go for it. Slow down, Andy. Doug O'Neill horse here. Four wins in 11 races for Slow Down Andy. He's um, He's been on and off. It's been had some gaps in between races, let's just say. Last time out, came in sixth place at the Metropolitan, losing by 10 lengths. But it was a deep field. So sixth place in that field, Cody's Wish, Sandin, White Abario. And that was his first race in seven months. So I, I kind of give him a pass in the Metropolitan. It was a, it was a deep race. Third place at the Breeders' Cup Mile. Not bad. Losing by less than two lengths to Cody's Wish and Cyberknife. Winner of the Del Mar Derby by half a length over Spycatcher McKinnon. Belnikov. Um, yeah, sharp horse. Never. I, I can't say he has yet to face real competition. I have yet to see him defeat real competition or, or really rise above it. He's had some good races, but... He seems to be the horse that's dragging behind a, a lot of the higher competition. So it brings us to the end here. Who am I going to go for? Oh, say it ain't so. I went with the, the Bob Baffert trifecta here. Defunded. That's my horse on top. Probably going to be the morning line favorite, although I can see Taiba getting some, some pub here. It's going to be between those two. I mean, I'm just going to say it right now. That's going to be your exacta. You can exacta box this. Defunded, Taiba. I don't know what kind of price you're going to get, especially with six horses. They're probably both going to be under two to one. But I feel like that's a pretty safe bet here. I was trying to find out. I was trying to to find a, a different horse to get third place, not country grammar. I'm just find something wrong with all four horses left. It's between country grammar and slow down Andy. I went with country grammar. I think he is a little bit more tested. He's beaten slow down Andy before, so I like that. So yeah, defunded Taba, country grammar, in that order, in my opinion. That's what I got for you, the San Diego handicap. So with that, what do you guys have to say? Who is your pick for the San Diego handicap? Did I miss anyone here? Did I overlook a certain horse? I know some of you are going to hit me up in the comment section. I appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the join button if you want to check out our memberships. We would love to see that. And we'd love to see you later.